Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm shooting this impromptu video because there is an issue that you need to be made aware of if you ship through eBay using their system. So it turns out that last night I got a message at midnight stating some of your shipping labels have adjustments. And I said, okay, well, either I weighed them wrong or I put in the wrong weight and they're adjusting for that or I put in the wrong uh, measurements and they're adjusting for that. And the entity that is charging me this is FedEx. So I went back and I looked at it and I said, well, according to their own message, everything is correct, but they're still overcharging me. You don't believe me? Check this out. Here's the message I received and I blanked out some information because I don't like to give information out about my, my customers, but here it is. Some of your shipping labels have adjustments. 2227 charge, 2222 charge, 756 charge, 1780 charge. This is on top of what I had already paid for the label, totaling $69.85. And let me show you what happened. This is the first one. Okay, look at this. Delivered, everything's okay, right? So the weight that I paid for was nine pounds according to this. The carrier has reported that the weight of your package was eight pounds. So I even overpaid by one pound and they're billing me for 18 pounds. So look at this. They're billing me an additional 1780 for a total of 3465. Next. Same thing here. Weight 14 pounds. Carrier has reported that the weight of your package is 13.1, billing me an additional 756 for a total of 1913. Next. The carrier has reported the weight of your package was 9.7 and I had paid for 10 pounds. For an additional 22.22. Next. The carrier has reported the weight of your package was 23.8 pounds. The weight was 24 for an additional 22.27. According to them, I did not underpay. I actually overpaid on one and the other ones are perfectly fine. This is a glitch in the system. How do I know? Because I got up at five in the morning when I saw this and I said, damn it, what a great way to start the day, right? But you know what? It is what it is. You know, it happens, so we got to fix it. I called eBay. I talked to a, uh, a very cool guy named Juan. He was very quick to say, we know that this is a known issue. This happened last week. And then this week, it happened again last night. So thank you very much for calling. By the way, the wait time is 21 minutes. So you can get on with somebody. You Well, first of all, you need to check to see if this is happening to you. And if it is happening to you, you need to call because if they don't do that report, you're not going to get your money back. They're just going to say, well, f it. you know, let FedEx take his money. If he doesn't care, then what, you know, why should FedEx? And they're going to overcharge you. So go through all of your transactions that are FedEx related. USPS, zero problems. UPS, zero problems. So for now, FedEx, because I understand that if you have a lot of, uh, a lot of different sales, you're not going to go through everything because that's just insane. That's just way too many uh, sales to go through, but you should go through them and then report this to the proper uh, people, which is eBay, and that way they can give you your money back. The only thing that he said was, I sent the report in, there's gonna be credits going back to your payout section so you can see them, and you're gonna get all, all of this credited back. This is a known issue. FedEx already knows about it, eBay knows about it too. They're trying to fix it so that it doesn't happen again. And mind you, this has happened before this, before last week and before this week. I've had this issue before, like maybe six months ago. And the only reason I started using FedEx again is because FedEx now has lower rates on eBay. And it made sense. It saved me like $8 per shipment. So I said, great, I'm going to use FedEx home delivery. And this is what I get. FedEx has always given me issues. I rarely use them because UPS is better. UPS breaks stuff all the time. Yes, fine. But they're just better at doing what they do. USPS is cheaper. USPS is the government. It's all anyways, but it is cheaper to ship now with the USPS ground advantage. But in any case, look at all this, make sure that you're not getting screwed and get your money back. Like this video, share this with your community and subscribe if you haven't done so already so you can get more information like this. See you in the next one. Peace.